Hello, William. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good to see you. Good to see you. How was your day? How was your day today? Uh, you're on mute. Very well, teacher. Did you go to work? What? Did you go to work today? Yes. Okay. What did you do uh, for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday? What did you do? Uh -huh. What did you do? What did you do? Okay. Where did you go? Where? Okay. Huh? Walk, walk, walk in the park. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Did you go to Parque Bicentenario? No. No? <laughs> it's, it's nice, it's nice, you should go. It's very nice. Okay, we're going to wait for the rest of the people two minutes. Okay. okay. We're going to wait. No quieren, no quieren estudiar ahora. Sí, ahorita ya van a ingresar. Sí, ya van a ingresar. Bye. How are you doing in the in the platform? In the plataforma? How are you doing? Mejorando, teacher. Ya, ya estoy ahí, mejorando esa parte. Where are you at? What section are you in? 4.12. Okay, okay, good. Did you finish the final exam? Uh, no, no el final, el, el midterm. Working right now. El midterm, el de en medio. Sí, terminaste ese. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Hello, uh, Emerson. How are you? Uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I. Good evening. I'm okay, and you, teacher? I'm doing good. Thank you. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello. How are you? Good. Hi. Thank you. We got two Carlos. We got Carlos Mendez and Carlos. Aviles. Uh, Nineve, how are you? Fine. Okay. A little tiny, but fine. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Good job. Uh, everybody is should be in section four. Finishing section four. We should be almost in section five, right? Yes. Deberían de estar ya, ¿eh? Eh, Entrando a las cinco, ¿verdad? Section five. ¿Ya? Yo sé que ya, ya, ya la mayoría está ahí. Eh, el midterm, ya, me imagino que ya lo terminaron, ¿verdad? El midterm. Ok, very good. Ok, very good. So today we have a, a couple of things we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do um, a conversation. Um, and we're going to do the present continuous. Uno de los eh, tiempos de verbos que es el present continuous. Eh, in English, a ver quién, quién, me, quién me puede contestar. In English, how many verb tenses do we have? How many? Eh, hagan una, hagan un guess. How many do you think we have? Tiempo de verbos que se estudian en la gramática de inglés. How many do you think we have? Four. Four? 
Bueno, tenemos solo tres tiempos, pasado, presente y futuro, ¿verdad? But, in English, um, cada uno tiene eh, eh, cuatro diferentes tiempos. Es decir, en total tenemos doce. Doce. <ríe> ¿Ok? Doce diferentes tiempos que... Verb tenses, ¿ok? Tiempos de verbo que podemos hablar. Ok, so... Um, I want to show you more or less a little uh, 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 some material and at the end of the course le voy a enseñar solo solamente más o menos un overview de los 12, es decir, solo solo un gráfico para que puedan ver dónde están. Eh, para este nivel ustedes deberían de ya de manejar el simple present, simple past, simple future y ahora vamos al present continuous. So deberían de manejar cuatro hasta este, este momento. Ok, very good. So, let's go to, uh, to, to the section. Let me share my computer screen with you. Ok. And I have some, uh, some information that we're going to look at. Uh, we have here one video that is in section 5.5. We're going to see this one today. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to uh, make sure eh, creo que fue el, el viernes, les mandé un video en formato MP4 en el WhatsApp Group. ¿Ok? Era para que ustedes lo vieran y que salieran de, de cualquier duda en cuanto al um, usando eh, verb to be y el to. So, let's, uh, vamos a repasar esto rapidito y después... Después seguimos. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would Verb plus two plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction. I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but, plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house. It's time, you teacher. Um, thank you. Thank you, William. Sorry. Uh, the structure for this section here is basically using wood. Usamos el wood en este caso para como eh, disculparnos y negar una invitación. So you say, I would like to go. For example, the question, would you like to go to the movies today? I would like to, but, y vamos a usar un I need to. I have to, I need to go to the doctor. I would like to, but I have to pick up my, my wife at work. Okay, so I would like to, but I need to go to my house. Okay, so basically, eso es lo que estamos estudiando aquí. Usamos el subject, would, verb, plus to and verb plus complement. For example, I would like to go to her new house. 
okay? I would love to go to her new house, okay? Like and love, in este caso, eh, es intercambiable, solamente que love tiene una emoción un poco más fuerte, okay? I would love to go to her new house. Like tiene una emoción un poquito más débil. I would like to go to her new house, okay? So basically, I'm um, solo repasando eso, okay? Uh, this was the video 4.12, I think. And um, creo que ya terminaron esto. Eh, la semana pasada le mandé un video sobre esto. Eh, yo mismo me grabé para ponerlo en el WhatsApp group. Okay. Do you guys have any questions about this section? Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Después de eso estaba el knowledge check 4.13. Let's see if we can do it together. Instructions, it says, read the following invitation and select the best response. Eh, lea las siguientes invitaciones y seleccione la mejor respuesta. A, okay, I'm going to read the question and then we take turns answering, okay? William, you're gonna go first because you were the first person today connected. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go first. I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? ¿Cuál sería? Yes, I am, or yes, I would love to. Hey, you're on mute. Quítate de mute. Second option, teacher. Okay. How do you read it? How do you say it? Huh? <laughs> yes. You forgot? Okay, yes, I would love to, I remember. Love Esta es la contracción de would. La, la, eh, la D solamente que se, que se ve allí sola es la contracción de would. Okay, yes, I would love to. Okay, very good. Number two, Nineveh, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Would, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? I would like, but I have to work late. Yes, very good. I would like, but I have to work late. Okay. Esta, esta no está correcta, why? I would like to, but mm -hmm. I have meeting. No, I have a meeting, sería, verdad? But this is correct. I would like to, but I have to. Y después viene otro verbo, después del to. Work. Very good. Number three, uh, Carlos Mendez. I would like you to go to a pop concert with me this weekend. Okay. So the action, yes. Action. Yes, I really like to go. Yes, I would really like to go, or yes, I really like to go. La primera. La primera, ¿verdad? Porque necesitamos Maracción. wood. Uh -huh. sí. Wood. Maracción. Yes, very good. Number four, uh, Emerson. Uh, uh, the question, ah, no. Yeah, tiene que ser una pregunta. Would you like to go to a soccer match next Sunday? Um, the first option, yes. <coughs> I would like, I would love to. Thank you. Yes, okay, very good. Number five, uh, let's see, uh, Katia, you're there? Yeah. Okay, would you like to watch a movie on Friday night? Uh, I like, I'd like to, but I have to work. You have or has? I have, I have yeah. to work. Very good, very good, okay, let's check. All right. Ah, who this? Can you this? All right. Would you like to come over for dinner? Uh, I would like to, but I have to work late. I would like to, but I have meeting. Aquí falta la palabra a meeting. Okay. I have a meeting. Tengo una reunión. A. Okay, very good. Eso es un error de la plataforma. 
Okay, very good. So you guys should be okay, right? So this, this completes section four, okay? Ya hicieron el reading exercise, 4.15? De Cristina Aguilera? Okay, you should work this, okay? Eh, I'm going to read it, y se lo voy a mandar en WhatsApp, por si quieren escucharme a mí leyéndolo, okay? But uh, you should try to do this, okay? So okay. I leave that for homework, and now we're going to go to section five. We're going to go to section five now, because uh, I want to go today to uh, present continuous. Okay, for the people that just came in, hice una pregunta, ¿cuántos verbos, cuántos tiempos hay de verbos en inglés? Eh, las eh, ¿Cuántos diferentes tipos de oraciones que podemos hacer? Eh, en inglés son 12 tiempos de verbos. Okay. All right, lesson objective. Uh, in this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about family using present continuous. Okay. Very good. I want to, uh, I have a, a document that we're going to see. Okay, esta es la presentación de present continuous. Um, eso lo vamos a hacer eh, en la segunda mitad. All right, very good. So today I want to see, uh, I want to have a conversation with you. The conversation is here. Let's listen to the conversation and then we're going to practice speaking. The conversation is tell me about your family. Muchas de estas preguntas ya las hemos hecho. For example, where do you work? Uh, uh, what time do you work? Etc. right? Um, solo que aquí no vamos a preguntar de la persona, sino de sus familiares. Do Rita's parents live? What do they do? Ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation. I'm practicing in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Ok, ahora vamos a usar la discussion box, ok, pero te, vamos a terminar de ver el video. So, in the discussion box, yo creo que ustedes ya, ya, ya pueden usar esa dinámica que es poner sus respuestas en la cajita que está abajo, en el post. Ok, I'm going to give you the questions um, and you're going to answer those questions uh, on the box. But let's listen Ready to, to talk about your family? Over. I want you to play the conversation. I'm practicing in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. 
Okay, very good. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the post and you're going to put your add a post, go to add a post. Here for the title, you can put your name. Okay, so I'm going to put here teacher Carlos. Okay, very good. And I'm going to put here basically the questions. Question number one Where does Rita? Tamarita, all right. Hold on. Yes, Rita. Okay. Where does Rita's brother work? Where does Rita's brother work? Okay. Number two, where does Rita's sister work? Okay. And then Hay otra parte hacia el final que habla de los de los papás, de los parents. Where do Rita's parents live? Okay. Very good. So these are the three questions that I want you to answer. Um, and you're going to put your answer in the post. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing. Pueden ir a la plataforma Schoology. A Schoology, I'm sorry, uh, English Corporativo, and go to the to the platform. Go to section five point two, and then van a ir at post y responder a esas preguntas acerca del video que vimos. Okay, so let's let's do that now. Okay, let's take some time. Preguntas, teacher, pero dónde las puso? Eh, En la discussion box, en la cajita de discusión que está abajo, eh, tenés que darle click donde dice add a post. If you want to listen to the video again, no problem. You, you can listen to the video right there from, from your computer to answer the questions.
William, are you okay? Do you need help? Bien? Dígame, teacher. Good. Aquí, trabajando. Okay, so, did you got number one? Where does uh, Rita's parent, uh, where does Rita's brother work? He works as a photographer. Yes, he works as a photographer. Very good. ¿Y, y dónde dijo que estaba trabajando? Ella dijo dónde estaba trabajando. En el Amazonas. Yes, very good, very good. Pero la autopsia que se le practicó a su hija determinó que la causa de su muerte fue por un fuerte traumatismo. Y que era la persona que estaba en el Señora Rivero, okay. no hay fuerza ni para ver. Very good. Okay, almost finished. Uh, two minutes. Emerson, do you need help? Good? No, teacher. Gracias. Okay, good, good. Carlos, eh, los dos Carlos, do you need help? No puedes ingresar a la plataforma. Está, ¿Estás en tu computadora o, te, o teléfono? En el computador. Ok, entonces eh, lo que tenés que hacer es darle clic a, a tu navegador abajo. No sé si tú uh -huh. tienes abajo el programa de, de Google o el Chrome. Chrome. Ya puedes abrir tu, tu navegador. Sí, uh... Bueno, abrir otra pestaña. ¿no? Ajá, abrir otra pestaña, sí. Ok, hey, two minutes, two minutes. Katia, do you need help? Okay, when you're finished, then in post, para que podemos ver. Ok, very good. Nineve ya puso su respuesta, very good. Ok, very good. Good job. Okay, very good. Everybody post their answers, lo que tengan. Delen post so that we can continue. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Tuve problemas con mi conexión, acabo de entrar. No sé qué están haciendo. Okay. Me acabo de conectar. 
Ok, no problem. Estamos terminando el video eh, 5.2. Eh, ya, ya escuchamos el video. Y, 5.2. Y, no, y nos pide que pongamos un post. Que escribamos eh, ahí en la parte de donde dice discussions. Y quiero ah, que responda okay. la pregunta. Where does Rita's brother work? Where does her sister work? Where does her parent live? Um, yo puse allí unas preguntas que dice Teacher Carlos de nombre. Ok. Ok. Pero este, si querés lo puedes hacer para después. Uh, because I want okay. to finish this exercise. Ok. Ok. All right. Everybody put their answers. Post, post, post. Let's go. Ya. Yeah. Okay, very good. William, Emerson, Nineveh, eh, Falta Carlos, and um, eh, Falta Gladys, que se acaba de conectar. Okay. So, eh, what you can do, what you guys can do is eh, for homework, you guys can finish this section, okay? Yo puse las preguntas ahí para que ustedes contesten, son solo tres. Where does Rita's brother work? Where does uh, Rita's sister work? And where do her parents live? Son esas tres preguntas. Okay? Okay, very good. I want to go now to, to the present continuous. Okay? So I want to study the present continuous with you. And I, the video is 5.4. Okay? So, quiero que lo veamos junto. 5.4. I'm going to share my computer screen with you. Okay? So that we can uh, so that we can do it together. Let's listen to that, okay? Let's do it together. Okay, so regresen a Zoom. And we're going to listen to video 5.4 for the present continuous. Okay. No se oye, teacher. No se escucha. Ah, uh, sorry. Are okay. you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm ready to study present continuous. I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. B plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb B plus ing for affirmative negative or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Are you Okay, very good. 
Uh, in this section here, there's um, a lot of different things that we're going to learn. Uh, number one, the present continuous, la estructura del present continuous, okay? Then we're going to learn how to make questions with the present continuous, and then how to make questions with the WH plus the present continuous, okay? So there's a, a lot of things that, that you can learn from this lesson, okay? Let me go to the presentation that I have for you. Okay, I have a quick presentation and I have some practices that we can do. Um, it, from the video, the present continuous, también se conoce como el present progressive, okay? Um, aquí le estamos, lo conocemos como el present continuous, eh, en algún otro lugar donde eh, se enseña en inglés se conoce como present progressive, ok? Pero es el, el lo mismo. The present continuous is a grammatical tense that can be used to describe when an action happened or may happen. You can use it to describe both events that are happening in the present, es decir, right now, ok? Entonces, el, el simple present y el present continuous no son lo mismo. El simple present uh, is used to describe actions that are habitual, constantemente. Son, eh, se usa para describir acciones que yo hago constantemente. For example, I work every day. I go to work every day, simple present. I am working right now, present continuous, okay? Uno simplemente describe lo que yo hago todos los días. El otro, el simple, el present continuous, describe lo que yo estoy haciendo ahorita, okay? So, no se confunda. Okay, very good. Um, so, right now, ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde deberían más o menos estar ustedes con su gramática? Simple past, simple present, el simple future. Y ahora vamos a estudiar el present continuous. Okay. Eh, perdón, no, no es este. Este, sorry. Present continuous. Okay. So, you guys should be able to, uh, should be able to use Um, por lo menos estos dos, simple past, simple present, simple future. Y ahora vamos a estudiar ese, present continuous. Okay? All right, very good. So, in English, we have 12 verb tenses. Right now, we're going to study the present continuous. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Let's say, for example, that we're having a conversation, okay? Para que vean cómo se usa en la vida real. We have a conversation here between two people, okay? So I need, I need two people that, that they can read, okay? Emerson, you're going to be A. And let's see, uh, Gladys, you're going to be... Ah, no, tiene que ser un varón, perdón. Eh, Carlos, Mendes, you're going to be B, okay? So Emerson... You're going to read A, and Carlos, you're going to read B, okay? This is a conversation, and we're going to use the present continuous. Okay, ready, go. Okay. Hello, Andy. Hi, Brian. What are you doing? I am studying English. What about you? No, eh, oh, la sorry, el, sorry. El, tú mismo, Carlos, responde B, ¿sí? B. B. I am studying English. Mm -hmm. Otra vez? What about you? Okay, and Emerson, respond here. I am talking to you on the phone. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, do you see the present continuous here? I am studying English. Do you see it? Okay, so something that you have to have 
You have to have the verb to be, very important. And then the verb <coughs> in, su, in su forma base plus ing, okay? When you see the verb to be, y después le sigue un verbo con ing, is present continuous, okay? We're going to do some more examples right now, okay? Okay, for example, I am studying English. This sentence, what do you have? The structure, you have subject plus the verb to be, and then you have the verb with ing and then you have the complement for example i am studying i am studying english okay another example he is visiting his mother the Another example, she is driving her car, okay? Okay, very important for you to know, right? Whenever you see the verb to be, y le sigue ing, present continuous, okay? And it is used to describe the action that is happening right now, okay? So, um, we're going to watch a video, okay? Este video, ya se lo voy a poner en YouTube. We're going to watch this video, okay? But I want you to see something here. I am drinking water. You are drinking water, okay? He and she is <coughs> drinking water, okay? So, do you see? Is... Solo lo uso para he or she, okay? He is drinking water, she is drinking water. We are drinking water, they are drinking water, okay? I want to, I want to go to YouTube very quickly and we're going to watch this video. And if you want to see it later, okay? Lo que van a poner en YouTube is present, continuous, Okay, grammar. And it's going to be this video, number three. Go English TV. The present continuous. How do we form the present continuous? Affirmative. Subject plus B plus present participle plus object Andy is washing the car Conjugating the present continuous. Affirmative. I am drinking water. You are drinking water. He is drinking water. She is drinking water. We are drinking water. They are drinking water. Remember, we can contract subject pronouns with the verb be.
I am. I'm. You are. Your. He is. She is. He's. She's. We are. We're. They are. There. How do we form the present continuous? Negative. Subject. Plus. B. Plus. Not. Plus. Present participle. Plus. Object. I. Am. Not. Talking. To Hannah. Okay, very good. Just a second, just a little note. This is to make negative sentences, okay? So we're learning positive sentence, negative sentence, questions, and questions with WH. Esas cuatro cosas, all right? For the present continuous, okay? We're almost finished with the video, hold on. Conjugating the present continuous. Negative. I'm not drinking water. You're not drinking water. He's not drinking water. She's not drinking water. We're not drinking water. They're not drinking water. How do we form the present continuous? Interrogative. B. Right. Plus. Ahora vienen las preguntas. This is how you make the questions with the verb, with the present continuous questions. Subject. Plus. Present participle plus object. Are you doing a presentation? Yes, I am. Conjugating the present continuous. Interrogative. Se cambia. El verb to be va primero. Am I drinking water? Are you drinking water? Is he drinking water? Is she drinking water? Are we drinking water? Are they drinking water? Okay, very good. This is a very good video. If you want to repasar or you want to understand the positive, the negative, and the questions with the present continuous, okay? So, el video que vieron en la plataforma les enseña a hacer in present continuous, in positive, negative, and questions. E una más, which is WH plus the present continuous. So let me let me share my uh, my computer with you, okay? So how would how would I make the sentence? Uh, anybody can tell me how would I make a sentence positive, negative, and questions? 
¿ok? Les voy a ayudar. Voy a iniciar yo. I'm going to say, uh, I am not uh, studying English. No. I am not watching TV. No, I'm sorry. I am watching TV. Okay. Let me change it. Let me change it. I am watching a movie. Okay. This is present continuous. Lo voy a hacer más grande para que... This is present continuous, right? Yes. Okay. Is this positive, negative, or questions? Okay. Obviamente, this is a positive sentence. How do I make it negative? I am not watching a movie. Okay. And can I use contractions? ¿Puedo usar contracciones? Yes, I'm not watching a movie. Okay, very good. The contraction can be am. Um, I'm. Okay. I'm um, not watching a movie. Very good. Okay, con contracciones, que en realidad es lo mismo, ¿verdad? You can use okay. contractions if you want to. If you want to use contractions, no problem. Okay. Usually, when we speak English, we use contractions. When we write English, eh, casi no las usamos. All right. So, what about questions? ¿Cómo sería? Questions. How do I make am, this? Am I watching a movie? Yes. Solamente que aquí tú estás hablando contigo mismo. Sí, el I. Puede estar. Ajá, sí, sí. Ajá. Am I watching a movie? You're speaking to yourself. Que no está malo. Si quieres hablar contigo mismo, está bien. But can you ask this same question to another person? Are you watching a movie? Yes. Ahí está. Very good, very good. Okay. Okay. So now you have, you have positive, negative, and question. Que en el video le dice interrogative, pero es lo mismo, question, right? Now, the video in uh, Inglés Corporativo, the video, they teach you what? Movie are you watching? Okay. In uh, English Corporativo, they teach you how to use WH plus the present continuous. Okay. What movie are you watching? Okay. So, aquí tenemos en positive, negative questions and WH questions. Okay. So, esto es lo que quiero que, que practiquemos, all right? Uh, we're going to be studying the present continuous today and tomorrow, okay? Pero al final de today and tomorrow, what I want you to do is I want you to be able to make positive, negative, and questions, all right? Very good. So, I have a... I have a little practice here that we can do, okay? Let's do it together. Okay, here they're giving you the subject, they're giving you the verb and the complement. But you have to put the sentence together. How would this sentence be in the present continuous? ¿Cómo sería? Esta ¿Cómo la pongo en el present continuous? No le están cambiando. Ajá, I'm sorry. Positive. Uh -huh. Pos ¿En positivo? Yeah, uh, yeah, positive. Uh -huh. Algunas que tienen aquí no. For example, number five, do you see? Esa va a ser okay. negativa. Okay. Uh, But this one's going to be positive. What would be the correct I answer? Hmm? Okay. I am studying at the moment. Yes, very good. <laughs> okay. Remember to put the capital letter and finish with the period. 
Okay. okay. Let's check. Okay. Correct. Okay. I tell check. Very good. So what are you going to do? I'm going to put you in groups. Okay. And you're going to finish this. Le voy a poner el link en WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Y también en Zoom. Aquí le pongo el link. I'm going to put you in groups so that we can finish this rapidito. I know that you can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six people. They made no. Katia, está ahí. One, two, yes. Okay. I hear. One, two, three, four, I five, six people. ¿Por qué me salen solo cinco? One, two, three, four, five, six. No me estoy contando yo. Okay. Maybe uh, I think William, you're not. No está conectado. Okay, let's go to the group. William, uh, you have to join the group and Katia también. Dele en join para que vayan al grupo. No me parece la invitación, Pichu. Uh, eh, fíjate, fíjate que eh, era bien raro porque no sales conectada, fíjate, Katia. Por eso yo decía, no sé. yo, yo conté <risa> cinco personas y, y estabas tú. Ok, de mi sí. Sí, a mí me parecen siete conectadas. Ajá, pero con, conmigo. Con usted, de uno, dos, tres, cuatro, Ajá. cinco. Y los partidos son seis. Ajá. Pero, pero no con... sé por qué no, no me parece la invitación. Ok, no te preocupes. Eh, if you can go to pero the link. Por... Sí, la podemos trabajar sí. juntos. Ok, no problem. Okay. Go to the link. Ya estás ahí. Sí. Yeah. Okay, number two. This one's okay. negative. Okay. Sería. <laughs> okay. You guys are on the on the platform? Yes? yes. Are you on the link? Yes, teacher. What is number two? I am not, I am sleeping. not sleeping. Okay. Number three is a question. Ah, question. Mm-hmm. How do we know that? you play? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you play badminton tonight? Uh, play, oh, or play or playing? Playing. Are you playing? Yeah, are you playing? Badminton tonight. Yes, very good. Now. Pero cómo sabemos que es pregunta? Eh, en realidad quién debería en vez de ser un puntito ahí en el número 3 debería ser una un signo de, de interrogación. Pero yo puedo ver que si yo pongo el verb to be después de you eh, no, no va a tener sentido. For example, you are playing badminton tonight. Es como si yo le estoy mandando a una persona que haga esto. So, are you playing badminton tonight? Y Me sale mal. No se lo... Ah, ok. You are playing. Es como si yo lo estoy mandando. You are playing badminton tonight. Okay. You try that. Yes. It's not a question. Okay. 
Ah, okay. For this one, there are no questions. Todas son negative or positive. Okay. Number four, what do you have? Uh, you are playing badminton tonight, punto. Sigue saliendo mala. ¿cómo la tenés? You are playing badminton tonight. Eh, mira badminton cómo escribiste el badminton. Ajá, mira cómo escribiste el badminton. Yes. Ok. Number four. We is watching TV tonight. We are. We are. Very good. We are watch TV tonight or we are watching TV tonight? Watching. Very good. TV. Very good. Okay. Number five. She are not work in Spain? No, verdad? No. ¿Cuál es el verb to be? She isn't. She isn't. No sé si, si, le, si la va, le va a tomar la contracción, so mejor escriban así a lo largo. She is not work or working? Yes. Working. Yes, very good. Okay. Go ahead. So you, get, you have 20. You have 20. Pero trabajen juntos para que, para que avance. William, te veo muy callado. Así me veo bonito. <laughs> what number are you in? ¿Estás en la seis? Yes, teacher. What, Ahorita what estamos trabajando en esto. Uh, ok, contesta la seis. He is not waiting for the bus. Wait or waiting? Waiting. Very good. Okay, continue. Number seven. We are not. Number seven. They are really. Eh, ¿Te acuerdas que tengo que usar el verb to be? So, they is. Reading, they am reading or they are reading? They are reading. Yes, very good. Okay, number nine, Carlos. I'm sorry, eight and nine, Carlos. Eight. Yeah. Carlos. No te escuchamos, estás en mute. Número 8. O sea, Eight, ajá. Uh -huh. What do you we, have? We are, we are not going to the cinema tonight. Ok. Going, ¿verdad? Going. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Ok, right. En in number 9. Carlos. Y you are not reading the newspaper. You are not reading, reading. the reading. newspaper. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, good, good. Vayan dos y dos. Continue. Uh, Gladys, 10, 11. I am not living in Paris. Eh, esa es la 11, ok. ¿Y la, la 10 cuál era? ¿Cómo era? Eh, no te escuchamos, perdón. She is 18, 18, no sé. Yes, chocolate. Eating. Eating chocolate. Eating chocolate. Very good. Excellent. Okay, good job. Good job. Uh, 
Oh, yang not leak. Leave. Okay. Did you guys finish? Terminaron? Yes, teacher. 20. Yes. All of 20. Okay. The, was it difficult? Mm. Che chequearon. La chequearon. Chequeando la estado. Sí, <laughs> okay. Deberían de tener todos los cheques verdes. ¿Ah? ¿Alguna que, que no que está mal? What number? Estaba en la 15, pero es que errores de que, que me comía las la, la letras. <ríe> sí, si escribes una letra mal, uh -huh. aunque gramáticamente esté bien lo que estás usando, la estructura, pero si la escribes mal, una palabra no te, no te la va a dar. So, 15 is he is working, working in a restaurant now. Okay, very good. We're going to go ahead and go back now. If you finish, excellent. Okay. And I'm much of mass ejercicio. So for example, if you want to see more, it says, uh, And let's see, present continuous. Ya les voy a dar el link para que puedan ver más, más ejercicio. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's go back to the. Okay. Katia, te veo dos veces aquí. Hola, hola. No sé qué pasó. Tengo problemas. Okay. Bueno, no, no te preocupes. Sí, te escucho. Eh, no te preocupes. Ahí después cuando cerres los dispositivos. Y creo que hay uno que está abierto porque yo me escucho yo mismo. Es como si me escucho en un dispositivo, como si tenés dos abiertos. Como si tenés dos dispositivos abiertos. Es que es un sonido raro. Okay. Escucha. Sí, lo escucho. Entonces mejor po ponte en mute. Y, y revisa que no estés ingresado en dos dispositivos. Tal vez ingresaste en tu teléfono y después ingresaste en otro, en tu tablet o tu, o tu computadora. Y quedó abierto en el teléfono. So, posiblemente eso pasó porque te veo bajo el nombre Katia y después el no, otro nombre que decía Del. <ríe> Okay, very good. So, uh, welcome back. Um, basically, eh, eso es lo que quería hacer con ustedes. I wanted to practice the present progressive, the present continuous, okay? So, in WhatsApp, ahorita mismo, eh, le voy a poner más ejercicio del present continuous in WhatsApp, okay? Yo creo que la gramática ya la tienen, la base, por lo menos, all right? You use the verb to be and then the verb plus ing. For negative, you use the verb and the negative and then ing. For questions, you use the verb to be first. Okay? So, esa es la base del present continuous. Okay? In WhatsApp, I put more exercises for you to, to practice more the present continuous. Okay? Después viene el knowledge check. The, in the in school in uh in English corporativo viene el knowledge check que el mismo de, de present continuous okay si quieren un repaso go to youtube solo pongan pongan present continuous grammar search y van a ver el video que, que vimos al 
uh, en la clase. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? ¿Preguntas? Ok, very good. So, today and tomorrow, present continuous and more present continuous. ¿verdad? Para dejarlo bien cimentado. Eh, present continuous for positive, negative, and questions. Esas tres. Ok? Very good. Ok, have a good night. Ok? Good night, teacher. All right, good night. I am going to sleep. Ah, present continuous. Right? Very good. Okay, good job. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Practice the present continuous. Okay? Bye. 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 Bye.